What is up everyone? It's gaming month. Here we are. We're in Fishing Sim World Pro Tour, baby. How about this? Is this better? I I, I can never I, I'm having to switch my darn webcam around for all these different games. So here we are, uh, Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. I have played the Predator and the Carp Challenge uh, on one career mode already. I ended up just starting over because I was like, you don't know how frustrated I was getting from using darn mouse and keyboard and, uh, and going off the screen so many times. So I actually have my Xbox controller plugged into the, uh, plugged into the PC so now I can uh, play with this. You can see down below. XBA, that's Xbox, baby. All right, so uh, we're in Snowy Peak Open, and uh, it's time to give this a try, I guess. Here we go, Predator Fishing, uh, Tackle Box. I have a Predator Tackle Box. I'm not sure how good it actually is, but uh, yeah, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> you join us here on the water today as the competitors are getting ready for the start of this exciting event. While we wait for the action to begin, let's take a look at the rules for today's tournament. All right, rules. Show me the rules. Round one rules, total length predator is the total score. I'm just going off the length today, evidently, and there's no, like, set fish amount. Just catch as many as you can, evidently. I think it was, um... One. Go! Snail Rancher was talking to me, a good friend of mine. Um, he was telling me about how, uh... He compares this as like Call of the Wild versus Fishing Planet, which is more like the Hunter Classic, and uh, and I think that's pretty that's pretty accurate. This has great graphics, and and it's simplified in a way. I'm looking around to see for action. There's some action. There's some action, bro. I have to claim this peg. Can I switch? I don't know if I want to use this freaking lure. I, I also have a lot more trouble getting a good uh, retrieve going on here. It's like, it always seems like it's either going to be going straight at the bottom or something. I almost need like a practice demo or something like that to show me how to get a good retrieve going. Alright, now I got the rod I actually want. So yeah, you can turn with the thumbstick, I see this, and actually when I went back to uh, keyboard as well, I, I could tell that... Um, you can turn with the WASD, which seems so weird when you have a mouse that you can do stuff with, but I guess when you're casting with the rod, you can't use the rod, can you? Oi, baby! Baby! Doesn't look too big, does it? Do I think that the fighting mechanic is too much at times? Yes, I do. Um, I don't know. If this guy is close to 10 pounds, then maybe that'll make sense, but he certainly doesn't look like it. Looks like a little three pounder. Maybe four. He's pushing four. No, he's 10 pounds. See, I, that thing looks does not look 10 pounds. Okay, come on. What the, the freaking carp back there? What are you doing, bro? He's like, I'm, sw I'm trying to get this bait. I want this number one bait right here. <laughs> I didn't even know I had bait in the water. That's hilarious. All right, here we go. We got, uh, we're on the board. We're already leading. Come on, we got more to catch, by golly. And that, that first fish was nothing for a master like me. Oh, uh, Kyle Scott. You freaking jerk, bro. Kyle Scott, that's a total Kyle Scott move. Okay, we got one on the swim bay, but we haven't gotten a single one since then. Um, let's see, popper. I haven't yet to catch a fish on the popper. But you'd think what predators would go for a popper, wouldn't you? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be doing that or not. It doesn't seem natural, you know? Maybe I'm supposed to just reel it in. This seems about right. Oh, I see a little perch over there or something. Let's foul hook this carp here. Look at that mirror carp. Jeez Louise, man. All right. Well, none of this is working now. I'm trying. I'm trying to get a stop and go. Okay, I want. I want to. I want to try something. I want to try a rattle trap. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Gizzard shad rattle trap. I feel. I'm feeling good about this. What I like about this gizzard shad rattle trap is that it stays at a pretty good uh, depth. I feel. 
Versus just going straight to the bottom and staying at the bottom. Ooh, got one right at the end there. Classic Pike. Hey, goodness gracious. I will say that on my first time playing this, I caught this giant rainbow trout or something like that. I want to say it was a rainbow trout. I mean, I I can't even... It was humongous, guys. You have you have no idea. I probably have film of it. Let me try to find it. So if not, we're, we're in trouble. Look at this thing. Goodness. That's a fish. A rainbow trout with the swim bait, a 13 pounder. <clears throat> Look at this dude though. Northern Pike on the rattle trap, almost level 11 there. Ooh. Very cool, well, that'll get us back in the first place hopefully. Yep, 45 and now we still got 36 minutes, so. I'm gonna take it right along the edge here, right for an ambush. Right for an ambusher to come along and grab this old gizzard shad. A little bit of up and down movement. All the other pros are going, oh man, look at PZ Hub over there doing the up and down move. Oh man, I wish I could do that. Come on, Pike. Oh, he's right there, come back. It's so, oh, you want this, man. At least, uh, at least they're going for the gizzard chat. That's, that's a good sign. Finally found something they're going for. There we go, we got something. Doesn't seem too big. It's not putting a lot of pressure on our line anyway. But it doesn't have to be heavy, just has to be long. So hopefully, look at that big old goldfish over there. Northern Pike, Northern Pike. Level 11, let's go. Okay, is there, look at him. It's like freaking Nemo, bro. Get over here, Nemo, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right, I'm gonna try over here now. I haven't thrown on this side very much. This might be where the monster is. The one that will secure ourselves into first place. Oh, buddy, oh, buddy. Woo, look at that guy. It's a 12 pounder in this game. Nope, 10 pounder, okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna switch back. I'm so confused why I can't switch my rods when I, like right here, like why can't I switch it? Let me switch my rod. Do I have to be by my poles to switch poles or something? Oh, sure enough, okay. Guess that makes sense. <laughs> Can you imagine having to go to, like, a cabin in the Hunter Call of the Wild to change out your inventory? Oh, that would be so annoying. <laughs> like, one good fish away from getting silver, so... Maybe try this one more time, and if we don't get one, then... Then we'll just go back to the rattle trap, where we are actually catching fish. Oi! You got nowhere to go. You got nowhere to go. Just come to me. Come to me and then go in my net. Go. No. Nobody likes you. Come here, fish. Come here, fish. Hey. What's that fish? Hey, you. Yes, you. Did you know that BZ Hub now has memberships here on YouTube? That's right, for only $1.99 a month, you can show off your love with a BZ Hub badge of honor next to your name and giving you access to all of your favorite emotes such as King Bjorn, Gotham, Mad Lad, and Get Rexed. More emotes will be added with more members. But I have lots of money. What else could I do? If you want to support the BZ Hub more, check out the Hub Lord membership at $9.99 a month. On top of a badge of honor and your favorite emotes, you will also get your name featured at the end of every BZ Hub episode. But lots of money. For those of you with a cash burning a hole in your pocket, check out the Hub Master membership at $19.99 a month. Not only do you get the badge of honor, emotes, and your name featured at the end of every episode, but you also get a complimentary BZ Hub membership on Twitch for our weekly Twitch streams. Plus, you know, everyone will know you're a Hub Master, and who doesn't want that title? So, get off your booty and join the BZ Hub today! It's a Pike!
Look at that, baby. That's a 14 pounder right there. 12 pounder. Close enough. <laughs> I think he's shorter than the one 10 pounder we got. Gosh dang it. The freaking tank, but he's short. It's all about the length, baby. All right, we got 20 seconds. It's not long enough to catch a fish at all. So yeah, guess I'll just run around like a crazy person. <laughs> Let's go look at some flowers. Righto, we got, uh, what do we get? Five different fish. Uh, Northern Pike times five, basically, which won us the tournament, uh, I think anyway, right? Yes, 106 inches. Next person in 61 inches because George Cater sucks. We got a 2319, we got a 2319. Bo has used a bad word. Get out of here, George. Just leave. No one likes you. All right, top notch. First 100 points. We got 100 points from that that round there. 400. We got 400 followers now. We got $5,000 from that event. Dang, bro. That's crazy. Anyway, short little video today just to make sure that we get a video out every day of this month. I really want to do that. And so if I'm going to have to do that, I'm going to have to make shorter videos than what I'm used to doing. So this is a good little test for me anyway, because usually I can't stand making short videos. I feel like I'm not putting enough content in it. But uh, yeah, tell me down below if you if you think differently. Was this enough content for a video or do you like the longer ones? I'm eager to hear. Uh, take care. Hope you're all doing well. Hopefully you got some snow for the for this wintry January gaming month. Uh, this was this was kind of fun looking outside and seeing a bunch of snow out there. Pretty awesome, and uh, I have a video of Bjorn playing out in the snow, which I hope to upload uh, at some point. I think I might actually upload it with another video, so that's another shorter video. So yeah, should be fun. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Live streams Monday and Wednesday, 7.30, 9.30 p.m. Central. Hope to see you there. Take care, everyone, and as always, Remember everyone, we're one planet, one family, game on.